Creating Testimonials and Contact Pages in this video, we will be going over how to create the testimonials and contact pages of your portfolio. This will involve learning how to format quotes, duplicate, and alter your page sections. First, we will be adding the testimonial section. Having some words from your previous employers or your clients can be very meaningful for anyone who happens across your page. Gather one or two sentences from each contact along with their name and organization. We'll begin by creating a header in the same way as we did earlier by hovering over the navigation bar and clicking Add Header. The title will automatically be the name of the page you created, in this case, Testimonials. Click Change Image and choose a neutral image for your header. Next, copy the first testimonial you've collected from your outline and paste into a new text box on your page. We're going to align the quote to the left, then we've chosen to right align the name and location of the person the quote is from on a separate line to differentiate the information. We've also chosen to use a different font from our theme. Follow suit with the remaining testimonials until they are all formatted as quotes. The page could be completed here, but it still looks a little plain. So to liven up the information, we are going to change the background color. Hover over the middle testimonial and you will see three options on the left side of the page. Section colors, duplicate section, and delete. Click section colors and you will see the background colors available with your theme. There should be three styles and image. In this case, style one is our default, style two is a gray, and style three is red. The last option is image. Clicking this will allow you to upload or select any image to use as the background for your page section. We will be using Style 2 as it visually separates the information without taking away from the content. Next, we will be creating the contact page. After looking through your whole portfolio, this will be where any potential employers can find out how to get in contact with you. We'll create a header that is title only. There are two potential ways to create your contact page, text or a Google form. Google Sites itself doesn't have an option to create a contact form, but you can insert content from any other Google app. There's a simple contact information template on Google Forms that you can edit to your liking. Insert this onto your portfolio by clicking Forms in the Insert menu and choosing the correct file. We're going to align the form to the right-hand side and add a photo to the other half of the page to create a split layout. Click Images in the Insert menu, click Upload, and choose the image you'd like to represent your contact section. We'd recommend a professional image of yourself or something related to your work. We're going to apply Style 2 to the background and resize any content as necessary. Finally, link to anything else a potential employer may want to see, such as a LinkedIn profile. To create a button, click Button in the Insert menu. A small window will pop up where you can write the text you'd like on the button, then the web address that you'd like the button to link to. After you've entered this, press Insert and then align your button with the rest of your info. If you choose not to use a Google Form, we will just use a series of text boxes. First, create a text box with a title that acts as a call to action for anyone on the site. A short line like get in touch or let's connect to get them interested in reaching out. Below your call to action, paste in any information you'd like hiring managers to be aware of. In general, your email and phone number should be more than enough. Even just your email address should be fine. Under this is the chance to once again link to anything an employer may be interested in, such as a button for LinkedIn. For privacy's sake, we don't want to give away too much information, but it may be of interest to include a map with your general location, school, or areas you service. To do this, click Map in the Insert menu and enter your location in the Google Maps window that appears. When you are happy, press Select. We're going to align all this information, then move it to the right side of the page. Lastly, you'll add your contact image and resize everything until you're happy with the look of the page. Here is a preview of what your testimonials and contact section should look like when they're completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar. In the next video, we will learn how to make our homepage and publish your final Google site.